There is nothing more sad than quitting on one of your career goals. Yes, it is true. I am quitting drag. There has not been anything like drag that has taught me to learn how to love myself for who I am. I never really embraced my appearance because I would look at other men and see that they would have square jaw lines, thin lips, hollow cheeks, thick eyebrows, a tall body structure, but it was drag that made me fall in love with everything that made me feel insecure. You may be asking then why am I quitting drag? Well, I came into terms that I'm not necessarily fit for the drag queen lifestyle. And yes, I do think drag is a lifestyle and not a hobby. I live in a home where being feminine is degraded and I can't even step into my own house with my piercings and honestly they're magnetic and they always have been for years. I'm more scared to get my ears pierced than another face tat. That means everything drag related has to be hidden inside my room. That isn't the main reason why I'm quitting drag. There's just too many obstacles I would have to face and my career goal is slowly shifting to a different direction. So that means Drag Dressmaking District, which is my second channel, will be deactivated. Which was also supposed to be the name of my design brand where I was going to be making costumes for drag queens. However, this channel, I am willing to do whatever it takes to keep it going. It's never been an easy thing for me to let go of something that I have been working on for years. I always refuse to quit until now. I will forever cherish every moment from dancing in my room, thinking I'm on stage, to seeing the people that support me smile, all the advice drag queens would give me, thankful for anyone who gave me an opportunity to perform on stage, and lastly, feeling connected to my feminine side. Now it is time to keep that same connection, just without drag being involved. There is something I would like for you guys to take away from this if you're still watching, strategic quitting which is basically not failure, but shifting focus. Sometimes our focus is spread out in different directions, which can lead to us feeling burnout or overwhelmed. Sometimes it's just best for us to have our focus on one thing instead of 50 things. It can be hard for us to let go because we are emotionally attached to these things. It has open opportunities for us and relationships. Don't be afraid of new challenges or what people might think. You have to take pride in your dreams no matter how unrealistic they sound. Before I end this video, I do want to show you guys something that I will be keeping. These are replica earrings from Selena's wedding and she also wore these at her Houston Astrodome concert in 1994. One big thing I wanted to be known for was a Selena impersonator, but sadly we're closing that chapter. I'm going to end the video right there. I want to thank you guys for watching and remember to subscribe to my channel to see what I have coming up next like this video leave a comment because i don't know how i'm going to get through this and i'll catch you guys on the next one